night on the job turned into a nightmare for a San Diego cab driver. One local Muslim group calls the re recent incident one of the many hate crimes inspired by the foiled bomb plot in New York. 10 News reporter Michael Chin looks at the chilling words the attacker spoke during the beating. His cabbie shift had just begun when he says it was abruptly cut short by an example of hate. This black eye is one of many reminders. Emotionally, it's, it is hurting me. Of an attack John can't help but relive in his mind. For fear of retaliation, he asked us not to show his face. I was shocked, yes. John, a Muslim American, was wrapping up his sunset prayer in a grassy area on Mission Bay when he heard a man yelling at him. He said, idiots, mother and they get back to your home and get out of this country. He says he tried to ignore the man and got into his cab. But the man followed him. He asked me, come on, get out, I'm going to kill you. He said what followed was a barrage of slurs and punches. He punched me twice from the window in my face. Then he opened the door and punched my, in my chest and my shoulder. Minutes later, John used a free hand to call 911, which caused his attacker to run off. Soon after, police arrested a transient, 48-year-old Daniel Jacobs, on assault and hate crime charges. Charges applauded. It's actually our first one in a very long time uh, since 9-11. By Muslim advocates who say the incident is the latest in a list of hate crimes across the country since the foiled Times Square bomb plot. The message that needs to be sent out here is that uh, hate motivated incidents are unacceptable in San Diego County. That type of hate, John admits, has shaken him. It's bothering me because still I feel like uh, our life is not safe in this country. No one should go through all these. Michael Chen, 10 News. John suffered severe bruising on his face and body, but is recovering. Prosecutors who make the final decision on hate crime charges should receive that case in the next week.